So for those of us on the Royal Q, we already uh, get an idea of how most of these trading robots work. Uh, we get the ideology behind it. You, you use your, 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 your crypto to trade against other crypto assets, and then you end profit. That profit is instantly added back to your exchange. Uh, this gap is not too different with that ideology, which we already have from our previous exchanges, like uh, Royal Q. But with BitGab, it's going to be a little different because uh, we are dealing with grid bots. Uh, grid bot they operate a little bit different what we are doing. Again, uh, another similarity, which is one of the biggest advantages, is that our funds are in our exchange. So we are not transferring our funds to anyone else. Our funds is in our own control. So we trade, uh, we give access to the robot through an API, just like we did for <coughs> Royal Q. So the robot trades 24 hours on our behalf, bringing our profit, profit also instantly added to our exchange. So in essence, we are in control of our money and uh, we choose to do whatever we want to do with our money at any given point in time. So BitGab, if you clicked on that link, first you will land on this page and uh, on this page, there are a few things you could go through. First, you are getting this link from your friend who invited you first person who told you about BitLab, and you would land on this page. You want to go through a few things. Uh, you want to go through their products right here. So this would be a trading a robot. You can trade your day trading, or you can choose to use the robot. But we are here for the robot because uh, we as beginners, we want to take that emotional factor out of the market, out of the equation, and leave the robots to work for us. Once you connect your exchange, Binance, OB, BitGap supports almost 50 exchanges. So no matter where you are in the world, USA, there is no limitation because all your exchanges can be connected. So you would see your exchange portfolio right on BitGap. Again, they offer us a demo, a demo amount, which you can taste the platform, taste the robot, run some trades for yourself and see if this is something for you before you can upgrade to a pro plan. So these are the products. You may also want to visit the price section right here, which currently they have a Black Friday offer. For those of you who want to take advantage again, so they are doing some kind of like Black Friday. Uh, there's a huge discount going on here. So you can see that currently we can uh, purchase either the one month plan, which come in three phases, basic, advanced, <coughs> and pro. Amazingly, uh, if you are joining today or you are joining whatever you feel like, you'll be getting a seven days free trial. And after that, you are going to certainly be required to upgrade to either the basic plan. Now, how do we choose the plan also differs, okay? Let's say for the basic plan, now you have one month, basic plan, monthly, $29. You will get two active trading boards. So it means you can go on to, uh, let me just call them cryptocurrency pairs. Okay? So you can run two different trading boards. So you can't do three because you are basic. Again, we are dealing with a great board you get unlimited uh, smart orders, so unlimited, depending on how the robot fits the buy and sell orders. So if you're good with this, you can start free trial. You get that free seven days a trial. Again, the uh, second, which is a <coughs> advanced. On this one, you get five active trading bots. So for those of you who want to uh, one multiple trade, like five, you can go in for the advanced. <clears throat> Again, the last one is the pro, which is $149 per month. On this one, you can run up to 20 active trading boards. 
Now, there are some advantages between the advanced and the pro. Because the advanced you would get, uh, you can also trade on futures, which I don't recommend. The, 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 the major factor here is this one, trading or trailing up and down for bot. So this one, we're going to be talking about this a bit later once we get into the, the platform. This is a major one to get as a beginner because we want to take advantage of when the market grows bullish and also when the market uh, decreases. So the same feature we have. So my recommendation is uh, we can start with either of them, say the basic. You can start with the basic and then run your two, a trading bot, and then gradually advance as time goes on. Uh, another one here is you can switch to the six months. Six months, they currently have a Black Friday discount. So instead of paying $29, now you can only pay $19 for a month. So that would be like 35% discount, so on and so forth. So just go through the one that you want. So we have one hour for the eight minutes of these uh, offers over. So you can just take advantage of that. So once you decide on your plan, the next thing which I recommend also very important, this is your business. If you choose you want to do this, you want to go through the about session, security, learn about the security, learn about the team behind this project, visit some blogs, read, and also find some contacts which you can get support at the go. Uh, lastly, and very important, is the knowledge uh, section right here. We also want to educate ourselves on simple little questions that we want to avoid asking later on because everything is right on the platform where you can go through and read the frequently asked questions you will find right here As you can see everything is here general information getting started with this gap again you can go through this thing but Going through them doesn't mean we shouldn't ask questions later in our groups, in our firms. So once you do all of these, the last thing you want to do, of course, get a link from the person who told you about this app and then sign up very quick. You can sign up with your Facebook, email, or whatever. Uh, you just need to use um, the working email because you'll be getting notifications through the right there. So enough of all that, let's get to be that down. Once you log into your account, you might be seeing something like this. Uh, let's say you'll be at the trading tab right here. Okay, so we're gonna spend a little time, maybe a few minutes right here, for me to give you a very short overview of what this gap is and how I plan to use this gap to grow my cryptocurrency. Again, if you watch the video which I shared yesterday, we were talking about staking our crypto in order to accumulate more crypto rather than just holding our crypto on our exchanges or wallet. We want to put our crypto in work so that we can get interest on our crypto on a daily basis. So it is kind of like the same ideology. This gap offers us an opportunity to trade cryptocurrency in two different methods. So with this gap, you can make profit on the crypto you are currently holding without having to do anything. That's a good one. I'll repeat it again. So with this gap, you can make profit on your crypto, on your digital assets, which you are currently holding in your exchanges, in your wallet, without having to do anything. Just Register on this gap and then choose a plan, one month or six month plan, and then do your API binding. And then you set your profile to work. And there you go. You are accumulating more crypto on the go. And you are growing your crypto asset uh, instead of lying idle to your uh, wallet. So there are two ways to make profit. With bit gap, or let's just say with trading in general, like what we do on Royal Q. Now you can make profit using a local currency or a fiat currency like uh, USDT or Canadian dollars. So you can make profit 
using the local currency. Like what we do on Royal Q, we use we make profit using our local currency. Our local currency is USDT. Now we use USDT and the robot runs the trade for us. It buys low and then it sells high. And then once it sells, it takes profit for us back to our local currency. Then we end up having more USDT in our pocket or in our wallet. Now, this example is also true with BitGap, but a little bit different. Now, for me, there are two ways, two methods I see with BitGap. Example number one, you use your USDT to buy Bitcoin on BitGap, and then Bitcoin increases in value or in price. Now you sell your BTC, and now you have more USDT in your pocket. So that is the first method. Again, I will repeat it again. Now, the first method on BitGap, you use your USDT. Let's say you have USDT in your exchange. Now you use your USDT to buy BTC. Now, after some time, a day or two, or some hours, BTC increases in value, and then you sell your BTC. And then now you have more USDT in your pocket or in your wallet. Okay, this first example, I do not want to use this one on Bitcap because it is like kind of a traditional method which we are already doing on RayaQ. Now listen to the second example. This is how I want to use Bitcap. I want to use Bitcap to grow my crypto, which I am currently holding. Now this crypto which I'm currently holding, maybe I plan to hold it for a long time, for long term. I do not want to leave it to lie idle, to lay idle on my wallet. I want to put it to work, trade, and to grow at the same time. So the second example, let's say you want to increase your profit in crypto. This time not in uh, your local currency, but in crypto. Let's say you have Bitcoin and you would want to accumulate more Bitcoin. So what do you do? Now you have Bitcoin in your wallet or in your exchange, and you want to accumulate more Bitcoin. So what do you do? You take your Bitcoin, invest into another coin you think it will do better. Let's say Cardano, for example. So you take your Bitcoin and you invest into another coin, which is promising, which you think it's gonna do better. Let's take, for example, Cardano. So you take your Bitcoin, you buy Cardano with it. After a while, Cardano increases in value. You sell your Cardano back in BTC or in Bitcoin. Now you have more Bitcoin in your hands or in your pocket. So this is the way I plan to use BitGap. I do not want to go with the traditional method of using my local fiat currency and then trade and then take profit back USDT. Again, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this uh, first example when you're using your traditional <coughs> uh, fiat currency to trade on BitGap. The, 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 there is a kind of like a side effect to that because uh, you can also use it. Again, I, I would say that you can also use it if you want to increase your local uh, currency like USDT, you can use it. Uh, no one is prohibiting you to that, but the second example is what works for me. I want to grow my crypto, which I am currently holding, by trading two different coins to let them work for me. And then I take profit in my crypto, and then it increases in value. I sell and have more crypto in my pocket. You can also use it if you want to increase your local currency like USDT, <clears throat> but you always want to make sure you are on a ranging on a ranging market or on an uptrend market. Because if the market is on a downtrend, you will lose a lot of money because the value of your coin will keep decreasing. This is with the first example. So there is risk involved in this. The risk is with the first example. If you want to trade with your local currency using BTC, uh, USDT to trade against uh, different digital assets, 
there is an effect, there is a risk involved, uh, you should make sure that you are doing so on a ranging market or on an uptrend market, let me say on a bullish market. Because when the market is downtrend, you may lose some money because your crypto keep on increasing in value. So the second example is perfect uh, for people who want to grow their crypto, for people who uh, don't want to lose money on BitGap, they want to grow their crypto, they trust that particular crypto that in a certain period is going to appreciate in price rapidly and they're going to take so much profit. So if we trade coin for coin, the value of your local currency doesn't matter at all. What do I mean? <clears throat> Let's say I am holding Bitcoin and I am holding BNB on my wallet and I want to trade these two crypto. So the sense behind it is the value of my local currency in USD it doesn't matter. So I wouldn't be looking at it, uh, what is happening in the market. Is Bitcoin up today or is BNB down today. I wouldn't focus on that because I am trading these two coins together. My focus is to grow them, to grow them in quantity without having to see if what is happening in the market is Bitcoin down today or is Bitcoin up to tomorrow. My focus is to accumulate more for maybe next month, for maybe next year. And once I see that I have accumulated a lot, and then the market is also up next month. I may choose to sell all my Bitcoin back to my local currency. Let's see the example. Now, uh, because if my goal is to accumulate more BTC, I wouldn't care if BTC price is going up or down. All I want is to accumulate more BTC. And when the price uh, or the value of BTC increases, I will sell all my BTC and make more and more profit. So let's say, let's put it this way. Let's say in your exchange, you own some coins like Bitcoin, BNB, and Cardano. So what if you use two coins, two of those coins which you are already holding and have them work together and have them trade uh, together to work against themselves and make profit and increase the value of that coin. So I'm holding BNB and I'm holding BTC. I bring them on BitGap. That is where BitGap is coming. In. Now I bring those two coins, those two cryptos, which I'm already holding on BitGap. And then I make them work together to trade against each other. Now amongst those two cryptos, I know which one is mine, uh, my main currency. Maybe my goal is to grow my BTC. So I do not focus what is going on in the market currently because I know that I am, my goal is to accumulate more people. So whether the price is down today or it's up tomorrow, I do not care. I just want to grow my business. So uh, with that in mind, that is how I plan to use BitGap. Uh, again, it may not be the way you want to use it, Maybe you want to grow, you want to uh, trade uh, USDT against different crypto assets uh, in order to increase your local currency, which is uh, USDT or Canadian dollars or Australian dollars. So whatever you choose to do, it is fine. Okay, but the way me I choose to do it, like I said, I'm going to read the second example just one more time. Uh, this Zoom is going to be a quick one. It is probably our first one. So the way I plan to use BitGap again, let's say you want to increase your profit in crypto. Let's say you have Bitcoin and you would want to accumulate more Bitcoin. So what do you do? You take your Bitcoin, invest into another coin you think it will do better like Cardano. So you take your Bitcoin, you buy Cardano with it. After a while, Cardano increases in value sell your Cardano back in Bitcoin. Now you have more Bitcoin in your hands or in your wallet. So that is the way I am using Bit. I am using BitGap to grow my crypto instead. I do not want to just hold, but I want to 
go in. So uh, with that being said, once you log into your account, you will land on a page like this. It looks so uh, bulky here, a lot of stuff to go along here, but don't be frightened, there is nothing here to read, especially when you know what to touch. So we're gonna be making this thing a little bit simplified for us. So once you first land on here, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to exchange right here. Again, like we said, BitGap support this much exchange. Can you see that, guys? We have our almighty Binance right here, Phoenix, whatever, Coinbase Pro. So uh, there is no limitation. In the USA, you guys are uh, KuCoin, you are using Phoenix. So a lot of these exchanges which you can connect. Again, you can connect more than one exchange to BitGap. The goal is you can be trading again on more than one exchange scale. So that is just awesome, guys. So uh, I will have to switch to demo mode here, okay, which I am already on demo mode. I will have to switch back to real account. So once I hit on real account, then I am on my exchanges, and then you would have this option to add the exchange. So once you hit on that, you'll get on this little tab right here. So here you just want to select your exchange. So I already have Binance, so I don't have the option for Binance anymore. So let's say if I want to connect OKX, I'll click on OKX, and the two things I just have to do is to go to my OKX exchange and then create an API key, just like you did for Royal Q if you're using Binance. Just go to your API management of Binance and then enter the label as, as a bit gap and then create your API key. Don't forget to enable spot and margin trading. So you have to enable spot and margin trading. That's the only thing you can enable. Once you enable that, copy your API key, paste it here, then copy your uh, last one should be your secret key and paste here and then click connect. And that is it. So it is not like complicated like other ones like when you queue when you have to do this and do that. This one is just two things, copy your API key, copy your secret key, and you are good to go to connect it. Once you connect it, just like we saw here on the products right here, you connect your uh, Binance or you connect your exchange to your it's gap so you can also see your portfolio. So because I have connected on my Binance, this is my Binance connected right here. And this money is currently in my Binance. I can view my portfolio right here on this gap. It is like my exchange right now because they have connected and communicated with each other via an API. Again, we know how these things work. So these all assets are in my Binance and I can view them here if I type here. I am searching on a coin on my Binance. I'm searching on uh, Shiba. So that's my Shiba right there. This Shiba is in my Binance, but it's reflecting here. So I see what's going on in my Binance, stuff like that. So that's your portfolio. You have your exchange connected. And uh, what you want to make sure that you have it, you want to go to lot right now. Okay, so you can see I am currently on the live account and I can always switch back here to the demo account because like we said, you can do uh, your, your test trade on a demo account. That's what I have been doing. Uh, currently, I don't have a live account. It means I haven't traded with my really fund. I am just using a demo account to try a lot of things right here and I am satisfied and I am going in after this call, I am going in for one of these plans right here before the timer elapses to get myself some trading done. So I'm gonna be switching back to demo right here. And once I switch back to demo, I'm gonna go to my notes right here. So now that we know how big Bitmark, uh, Bitgap operate and how to use it, our focus for it. The next thing is how to maybe set up a trade. 
Yep. That is the most uh, frequently asked question, how to set up a trade. But before we go to setting up a trade, I will show you what's going on because I already have some test trades which are running. And like I said, like I shared with you, uh, my results, you can see right here what you are seeing on the screen. Uh, but before that, I have a trade above that closes. And it was this one which I shared with you guys uh, later today. So you can see with this board, I created this board uh, that was on the 29th, or stop at 29th, I created on the 28th. Uh, so it's been like a day, a day and five hours, something like that. So it's not up to like 24 hours which I created this board. I was trading BHB, BNB. Again, like we already said, my focus on this trade was to go my BTC. So if I go to this trade record right here, so I was doing bot type was S bot, which is a trade bot. My exchange was Binance, and my pair was BHB and BTC. This is my main currency. It means my focus is to take profit. BTC, but I am using uh, EHP to trade against my main currency, and then I am taking profit here to go back. So you can see here profit currency is BTC. So I'm going BTC. So sell orders. So these are total orders which are sold. And then uh, we also have our levels right here 38. Going to be seeing how this works shortly, and then I was doing a step, the three step of uh, zero point fifty eight. Again, you are going to be learning about this and stuff like that. So this is just to tell you that uh, about my main currency BTC and stuff like that. And if we look right here, in twenty four hours, depending on the settings which I choose, uh, my investment on these my investment on this trade was like. Uh, two thousand four hundred and ninety three dollars. So that was the money I initiated this trade with. And what happened immediately? I initiated this trade five hours later. This coin is bullish, so it brought this profit of 28 percent of this amount. And, uh, I ended up making a bond profit of five hundred and eighty two dollars. Now, this $582, it was paid to me in BTC because I am going BTC. So my profit currency is BTC. So this money was paid instantly each time they bought, bought and then sells. And then that profit was given to me back in BTC. So in essence, I am going my BTC without just letting it sit idle in my exchange. So again, just like you know how it works on Royal Cube, profit instantly added back to your exchange. And then this is the change. It means the coin either went up or it came down. Just like I was saying that because my focus is to grow my BTC, so because I also trust BHP, so I may not have to focus so much on change in price, what is going on in the market. So if this number was still in the negative, I wouldn't be concerned because my concern, my focus is I am going BTC. I don't have any intention of selling either of these coins anytime soon. So my focus is just to accumulate more. So that's a huge profit percentage right there. If I click on this thing, we can see even more details, which we are not going to be going into so much technical explanation today. We'll do another one for that. You can see 28%, stuff like that, profit is be added back. So that switch right here, you can see 25%, and my profit came in BTC, 28% is instantly added. Another thing is why you are doing this. BTC, they also go bullish. And because you now have more BTC in your exchange, you can decide to sell whatever you want and even take much more profit. 
And now a friend of mine who started bit gap with one uh, Ethereum. Two months time, he got 2.5 Ethereum. So what happened is in two months time, he has made 1.5 Ethereum as profit. So uh, that is huge. So his focus is to go Ethereum. He doesn't concern with the fact that Ethereum is up or down or what. He is just focused on going Ethereum. So I'm going to explain this a little bit and we are going to go straight to see how to set up our own trade. For those of us who want to run some, uh, some test trade, because we have a seven days free trial. And what I would recommend is please, you want to do some back tests. We are going to be doing some back tests right here. Uh, so this bot stopped. So this is my bot, it stopped because I also had a stop loss right here. Uh, these bots are live. I have two bots right here, which are live. So you can see what is also going on in the market. This bot, I initiated this bot, DAR versus BTC. Again, my major currency, BTC. I am bringing my BTC. Then I'm letting these two uh, coins to work against each other, to trade against each other. And then I am making profit to increase uh, in value. So you can see that this trade uh, one day, 19 hours ago, and uh, daily I am making like 3% of this trade. And you can see the total profit has been $87. That is like 3.25% return. Okay, this money, this profit has come back, has been added to my exchange in Bitcoin. Because I am going to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is my profit currency. The money I used to initiate this trade, $2,800. Again, you do not need as much to initiate a trade, depending on your trade levels which you choose here, which we are going to be seeing in a moment. So uh, you can see the change also because the market is fine. So we have a change of 7.63%. So after your profit, after you bought profit, uh, this is what you will be getting. After your bought profit, you will also be at 7.67% uh, increase of your portfolio of your uh, asset. So, which is awesome. So this bot has completed 2,185 trades. It is active. If I click on this thing, we can see these details and like how it is looking. So, all of these. Uh, Things right here are live candles, live trades going on, buying and selling and taking profit and stuff like that. And uh, I do not focus which of this crypto is going to be down because my focus is there to accumulate more for maybe the future or maybe I want to wait for the bull market to come, when the bullish market comes. Choose to close the trade. And then now that I have more crypto, more BTC, I may choose to sell in the gold market and take an even much more profit. So the second one, I am running Mana BTC. Oh, we all know that Mana has been crazy tight the past week, bringing us so much profit on our robots and our rare queue. So I also tasted this here. I ran a back test right here. So I went in with a $483 total. So my major, my main currency, BTC, I want to accumulate more BTC. So it's trading with MANA. So it means I own BTC and I own MANA in my exchange. Or I own BTC alone, but I don't have MANA. When we come on BitGap, I will have to uh, purchase some mana so that mana and BTC can work between each other, can trade against each other, and then my profit, I will be getting my profit. You see, so that is just the sense behind this. $884, the coin is up 9%, that is good. Profit, $25, which is 5.85% in how many days? In two days, nine hours. So, which is awesome. It has completed 60, 63 
trade this active. If you click on here again, that is how good it is looking. Again, I do not focus on which one is differentiating, which one is being better. My focus is to accumulate more crypto. Then I hold for as long as one of as I want to hold, or I sell whenever I want to sell. Okay, so let me just explain this uh, first one real quick. Uh, then we will move to how to set up a robot. For those of us who want to do some back tests to see how this is working and to see if this is something for us. Again, this is going to be interesting because giving the coins to trade, you may not necessarily have to think about the coins to trade because of BitGap, we have recommended and suggested coins because smart individuals just like you and I have done some back tests and each time those back tests are being conducted uh, they are recorded here so you can just come here and see the percentage returns and then just click on that coin the percentage and boom the trade is running so I can leave this thing to run as long as I want it to run I am not in any hurry to maybe sell either of these I am holding them anyway I just want to draw them I also do not focus on if change in the market is positive or negative. My goal is to accumulate more for the future. The future may be tomorrow, the future might be next week or next month. It depends on your goals. So basically, when we look on these trade, DAR versus BTC, basically, I'm using BTC as my main currency and I will trade it against DAR to accumulate more BTC. So that is my focus. Now for me, it doesn't matter what happens in the market, if the value of that or the value of BTC goes down or it goes up. In let's say in USDT, so I do not focus if it goes up or it goes down in USDT, in our traditional currency. So I don't care about that because I'm not looking forward selling either of these coins anytime soon. All I want is to accumulate more BTC. So that is the sense behind it. And with that in mind, let us go and see how this grid right here, because sometimes it might also look a little bit scary to some of us. What is going on here? A lot of grids right here, stuff like that, but there is nothing there, guys. When I click on this thing, it will load up this screen. So you can see how it looks here. Yeah, so beautiful, I love it. Bit gap is really advanced. And uh, we are updating this thing every day, making it very simplified. So you can see here on this grid, we have the upper grid and the lower grid. The upper grid is red. The lower grid is green. And uh, the red stands for something and the green stands for something, okay? So uh, I'm going to explain how that works in just a second. And you can see these little circles, those indicate the trigger buy and the trigger sell. So each time the, the grid, the bot crosses against this grid, the trigger is sell and a buy. So which is awesome. And if we look right, Right here, I have my steps. So the step between each of these grades, which I had, is 0.33%. So every line represents 0.33%. So every time the price goes one, price goes uh, against one of those lines, it will trigger a buy or a sell. So every time the price goes up or it comes down, it triggers a buy or a sell. So if the price goes up, it will trigger the sell. And if the price goes down, trigger a buy. So that is just the sense behind, is behind it. It buys low and it sells high. So the bot does that automatically multiple times a day. As you can see right here, it does it multiple times a day. That is why on this trade, I have had 2,186 trades are completed for me already because everything happens automatically. So with that in mind, we can go forward to see how we can set our own test trade. We want to test 
uh, we want to run the back test and see uh, what is working and what isn't working. That is why you have your seven days free trial. If you're confident, you can go and upgrade your account, or you can use your seven days run back test of the when you feel you're comfortable. Again, I plan to do this Zoom at least twice in a week. Uh, if you guys can make the time, let's do this twice in a week so that we can fully get the, the, the sense behind this amazing robot. Uh, remember, I said in the beginning when I started, I said this is going to be a big project because I have seen how it's working. And then my plan for this, I am going to be putting some money in here, I'm going to be putting some money in one uh, to get some huge profit from me within a very short time. So if I click on here, you can see that I have standard board to advise it means for my free trial for my uh, demo account that I, I am allowed to run like five different boards, which I think that's what it stands for. If I click right here, it is asking me to start a new board. Again, remember, because you just signed up. You have a free trial, a free seven days trial. The first thing for you to do is to connect your exchange. Connect my exchange, I will have to switch from live, from demo to live. Now you click on connect exchange, click here and do your API binding, select your exchange and do your API binding. And then you see your exchange connected here. Don't worry about the features. Using that, so you see your portfolio right here. You can visit, you can see what's going on in the exchange by visiting this session right here. And then, uh, what you want to do next, you want to run the bot. Either you want to do a test trade or you just want to put in your own money. Uh, again, remember, you should have a strategy in mind. It's your focus to trade USDT again with my crypto asset. We already heard uh, that there is some kind of risk involved with that because you should be doing that on a ranging market, it means uh, on an uptrend market. But if the market is downtrend, your crypto is going to reduce it. But if you are trading coin for coin, crypto asset, crypto coins which you are currently holding, like BTC, BNB, your focus is to grow them. So whether they depreciate in value, that is not your focus because your focus is just to accumulate more. So now we have, we are on our bot right here. We want to add new bot, click on bot right here. Because I am on a live account and uh, <clears throat> my free seven days trial is over. Going to switch back to demo. Can I advise everyone to do this first on demo? Then gain some confidence on that. Then you can, and then run the live box. So it will tell you here you are currently in a demo mode. Again, another thing, because we want to take advantage of these, of this right here, you see, have one hour, 10 minutes. If you think this, that it's going to be something. You can take the chance and purchase either of these bots. We already know different plans come when a number of bots you are allowed to run. And uh, again, you can also get these uh, trailing up and trailing down, which will be a loss. But if not, don't worry, you can always start with a $15 plan. You can purchase your bot with $15 and keep it, it's for a month. And then you can run some tests, uh, back tests and back trades right here to see what is going on, to see how the numbers are changing, to do something for you. And then anytime you feel you are confident, you can always switch from a demo to a live account and start trading. Okay, enough of all that, John. Let's do a trade right here. So what I'm gonna do is I want to add that. Oh, 
going to click on S part. So I recommend S part. So that S part is what I just made mention. Uh, they operate in similar ways, S part, classic part, but we are not going to be talking about classic part today. S part is a great part for sideways uh, channel market. Just like I said, for sideways channel market. So what is happening on this grid is that depending on our levels on our grid steps right here, now that I have uh, 0.33%, it means each of these uh, grids represents 0.33%. And depending on our amount, we will be setting right here. Now, every time the price goes one against one grid, uh, one of those lines will trigger the buy, okay? And every time it triggers a buy, it also triggers a sell. So if the price goes up, it will trigger a sell. And if the price goes down every time it crosses each of these lines, it will trigger a buy. Buy is low, it sells high. So that's just what an export is. It is just the same thing we are doing uh, Royal Q, but this is more advanced because we have more features right here to uh, play with the market and take profit. Okay, now that I am on S bot, I already have two trades running here. I want to add one more trade as example, so we can also do that at home after this call to see how it is working for us. So we are on S bot. We select our exchange right here. For me, I am with Binance. So once I have my exchange right here, the next thing is my pair of crypto, which I want to trade. Pair of crypto, I have to make sure I am still on the door. Oh, audio is not great. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, someone said the audio isn't great. Now, please, can someone still hear me? Thank you. I hope someone can hear me out there. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Don, we can hear you clearly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Can get some. Um, Hello, Mr. John. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, it is a very good one from you. But uh, I, I believe you recorded the, the, the whole uh, session, right? Yes, sir. I, I, I'm recording that. So in just a yeah. second, we will get to questions. Uh, yeah, for now, but we have to. I really have to go through it again so I can get the details. Okay. And now it's, it's, a, it's an interesting one. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. So now that I have selected my exchange, the next thing is to select my pair of crypto. So once you click on here, it gives you a list of crypto assets. Remember, I have been teaching these things on really queue for you to know trending cryptocurrency pairs you can go to binance and go to marketplace and see those coins which are up and trending but again with this gap what we want is we want coins with good volatility coins which goes up and down like you can see right here uh, it has to be going up and down the grid for us to profit Again, depending on your focus, you can choose to trade your local currency, USDC, against uh, other crypto, which is not my focus. My focus is to grow one of my digital assets, which I'm currently holding. So let's just say uh, I want to do something. You don't have an idea of what to trade right here. Once you scroll down a little bit, you can see more. Back test result. So what Big Gap is telling us is these are the coins which other individuals just like you and I have been making tests on. 
and you can see the percentage returns. Very impressive. So you can choose one of these and set up your trade fund. So if uh, I want to run a trade on this pair, this one I am currently running, and you can see the percentage, the profit I have got it in just the day 19 hours. That is $87.27% return. So you can just go through one of these. Again, you should be holding BTC in your wallet. And then you are just pairing BTC with this other asset. So it can be anyone. So I'm going to take, uh, let's take the first one. I'm going to click on that. So the moment I click on that, it's going to load right here. Uh, it's going to load right here. So we can see it right here. That was the previous one which I traded. So you can see my bar. I'm doing S bar exchange, Binance, Pair, PHP, BTC. And then right here is the amount of BTC which I am currently holding. Again, remember this is account. Right this is the amount of BTC I am currently holding. You can adjust this, adjust it. So it gives us the approximate value uh, US between which is like five thousand, okay, and so on. So this is what this trade will require for it to run because we have it at ninety five percent of our total uh, portfolio. So we can slide and adjust right here to fit our trading funds. Remember, when you go against it, it gives you this red it means uh, you can't run this trade because maybe your fund is not enough to run it. It's also pay right here. Not enough balance. At least you need this BTC to require to start this trade. So you just want to adjust it. Okay, just like there, so I'm good to go. So this trade, I am good to initiate it with like $2,193 or so. So because BTC is my main currency, I want to grow BTC. So I'm pairing BTC with PHP. So that is the sense behind it. And then I'll make these two crypto pairs to work against each other. The trade, my profit will be given to me. In BTC. So, in essence, I am going BTC. So, now that I have it set, I am good with the amount right here. I'm gonna screw down a little bit. The next thing we wanna make mention, we wanna make sure of is these are great step right here. So, my previous setting was on the, what's that, the 33, 0 0.33. So, this thing, make it smaller. Another thing is you can always adjust your levels by just holding these right here, bringing it down, up. So by doing that, you are also adjusting size, the, the, the amount to initiate the trade. What I love to do is I love to put my high price at the peak of the previous bullishness. And I love to put my low price at directly the bottom of the previous low. Uh, in that way, because I have done that adjustment, um, I want it to get some kind of volatility. Because, so because I have done that adjustment, you can see my grid level changes to 0 0.12 which I don't like it. I love to have it at least at 0 0.56. So I love to have it there 0 0.56 and I have adjusted that. It's good with me. So now that I have done that and uh, my agree uh, levels uh, recommended to be uh, 5 to 180. So I think I am good with this. Okay, remember I was talking about trailing up, trailing down, which come with these one of these packages. So when the trailing up, when you enable the trailing up, click it here, it means that uh, right here where we have set our high price, 
if it happens that the market was bullish, and the board, the robot is going to follow the market up and then profit for you, making gains for you. If we don't uh, turn this on, it means that even when the market go bullish, we wouldn't be taking that advantage to make profit because we don't have our trailing up, the robot will not be following up and so on and so forth. Yesterday when I ran this bot, you can see this red line indicated green line because the market went from this point and it went bullish. Now because it went bullish, that is why I was able to make $580 on this trade. So we, I recommend the trailing up. I also recommend a stop loss, which I love to place just directly at the last uh, last bridge right here. So just beat my stop loss. This is the last grid, and there we go. I don't recommend trailing down. That would be a total different story, and take profit is also advanced. I think I should have this thing at 0 0.33, just to have some uh, gaps between these grids right here. So um, in really quick, very quick, I'm going to say this again. So now that I have my grid step at 0 0.33, so every line represents, every line on this grid, you know, can enlarge it, enlarge it. So every line on this grid represents 0 0.33%. So every time the price goes up, or the price goes against one of those grids, to trigger a buy or a sell order. So if the price goes up, it will trigger a sell. If the price goes down every time it crosses each of these lines, it will trigger a buy. So it buys low and it sells high. So the bot does that automatically multiple times when you bring in profit. So if I am good with this, I am going to take on so let's see what happens. If we had to finish it this trade, the way we have it here, uh, this is not a good one. This coin is not a good one. So I'm going to do this for another one. I am going to choose something else. I think I should go with this pair right here. I am going to choose uh, Matic. Matic BNB. I will do Matic BNB. So the focus here is I have BNB. I want to grow my BNB and I am trading them against Matic. So to do that, I cannot run that trade because I need some BNB to run that trade because I am on a demo account. So I am just going to go with one of the sitter. Okay, let's do BTC or something like Aldo. Let's do BTC Argo. Okay, I have got BTC and it seems like I can initiate a trade. And I am going to just choose my limit here. Going to put this at 30, 33. So there we go. So uh, I am missing why this is important. Uh, something here. Okay, there we go. Break down. Okay. 
So the sense behind it, like we said, we are to grow our crypto. And that is why I recommend every one of us to run a podcast because we find it satisfied and comfortable to do to perform a live trade. Remember that uh, you don't just want to jump in to perform a live trade. Even professionals, they do perform a back test. They test a lot of these features until they are satisfied. So for me, for these two trades right here, uh, which are currently running, I am satisfied with them. If I want to make them live, I will just hit a button and you can see our profit on this one just increased from uh, 87 to 88 dollars and this one will just increase so that happens every now and then so let's do this again to see if we get it, get it. Uh, let me take the first one for example uh, one inch uh, BTC I don't know why my grid isn't loaded here and uh, I am just going to adjust. Here. So that would mean like $1,196. Trailing up, yes. Three. Something isn't right. So I think I'm gonna take some questions while I figure why this grid isn't loaded. So please, if you have a question, do not take much of your time, please uh, go on and ask the question. I didn't intend it to be a very long one, uh, but I'm glad we are getting came here to get. Okay, now that we have our grid, just a second, we are going to run this test grid. Okay, now that I have my keys right here, I'm going to Okay, there we go. So what I normally like to do is to draw this uh, low price to be directly at the lowest price. Uh, just see the arrows. And uh, I am good with that. I extend it even more to see that. Okay, I am also going to bring this a little bit to be right above the highest price of that time frame. And this one also should be here. And remember, as we do this adjustment, we also uh, adjust our, our total amount right here. So that is it. I love to have it here at least 56%, 0.56. Again, it gives us a suggestion right here. So I'm going to put 56 right there. And then because I have it on 56, so this each of these grid lines represent 0.56% each time it crosses uh, each other, it triggers the buy and sell. I'm going to leave it here the way I have it. I have my uh, my trailing up, and I am also going to enable my stop loss, which I am going to bring right directly below this last grid, my last grid right there so i am trading inch btc my main currency is btc i want to go btc i want to let them trade against each other my profit is going to come in btc and uh, just to test it to see how this would have performed in the past okay so you can see what we have here uh, our back there says uh, i really had to initiate this trade so as three days result, it will be 0.88%. In the past seven days, it will bring the percent of profit of 2.06%. And the past 30 days, it will bring the profit of 8.81%. Uh, Again, we can see uh, right here, by system, we can see how those trades took place. Buying and selling, how the profit was coming back and see, and so on and so forth. So you can see we don't have anything like losses right here actually. 
uh, because we are trading two coins against each other. And uh, you can see how read we're going on right here. So this is just a back test to give you an idea. Uh, this uh, gives you an idea. Again, remember that uh, past results, uh, past result doesn't also guarantee future performance. Did I say that correct? Past performance doesn't guarantee future results, something like that. Again, I might also play with this thing. I might make my grid levels right here at least 40. So if I do that, I also uh, reduces my grid step. And then I will run the test again. You keep on playing with this thing. You want to get the best result. Okay. Yeah. It isn't bad right here. It increases. So it means that if I bring this thing to at least 100 right here, Hmm. And it wouldn't that be too bulky? Okay, and then I'll run my test again and see what happens. It brings it down. And I can just copy what I had here. I just copy what I had here to do the one of these right here. So, on our test. Okay, so that is basically how you can run the test, uh, the back test on a particular crypto asset. So you can, you can change current data at all, but this is just to give us an idea of the past three days, how they come of the past seven days if we maintain this setup right here which i am not recommending it is not the best setup i haven't thought of this i haven't figured this out so we can just uh, play with this thing until we get a very good uh, return percentage for us uh, that is how we should do it you see each time i change something here it improves my results Let's here so we will get a 1.5 uh, we don't want to make it too uh, okay so it increases it increases so that is just basically how you should run a test rate if you can find a pair right here for you you can choose either of these pairs and then to run a test rate on it to give you an idea of what you should have had past day, the past week, and so on and so forth. So we will be doing this time and again in order to get this part of it. This is where the same should be, number one, what point you should trade. Again, you may not have to worry about that. We will be sharing our strategies just like we normally do. We may even tend to have the same coin running for all of us in the team. That is what we will be doing. So the moment I see a particular pair that is doing better, I am going to communicate that so everyone can jump up, copy the same settings, and we are good to go as a family, going on crypto together. So this was just to give you an idea, a little idea of how big that work. And if you have to see that form to me after this call to do one or two things, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. For now so i think that will be basically all for now and uh, if anyone has a question please let's take it If we don't have a question, then uh, I think maybe John wasn't a bad teacher today. And uh, we may also get our questions ready for our next meeting. Uh, I believe it's going to be more better than what we had today. <laughs> Pardon me if there were some things I didn't present correctly. Well, I am also 
Anyway, Mr. John, I think uh, it's just. Um, I think we are. I think we are. Uh, hello? Hello, brother, you are echoing. Yes, tell us. Yes, okay. I don't want to say that uh, it's a first impression, just a first view of this uh, robot. Uh, it's always very difficult to catch things at the first time like this. But I think by the time we go through it, you know, over and over, we'll be able to get, get our hands on and get things, you know, to understand these things better. It's not really easy to get these things in, in the first shot like this. Yes, that's true, brother. Mm. Any question in the house? Or oh, we call it up for today. I will make this a video available so we can watch it. Hello, uh, Hello. Ah, it's echoing. Ah, it's echoing. Ah, it's echoing. Sister, you are echoing. Hello, sister, are you still there? I wanted to find out. Hello. Hello, yes, hello. Yeah, I just want to find out with all this, what kind of capital are we looking at? Yes, that's a good one. Uh, the capital depends on your setup right here. Again, uh, when you are holding, for example, look at this one, RV USDG, which I have here, I have selected as my pair. And so my capital, will be suggested to me right here that based on the setup, based on my um, a great step, which I have on 0 0.28 and my great levels, 50, based on this setup right here, uh, this is my investment. It should be my investment, USDT, $9,500. But because we have it here at 95%, which we can adjust, can adjust this thing. Uh, so you can see that we can go below uh, 1,000. So this trade based on our setup, it can go for $1,000. So what is gonna happen with this $1,000 is that because we have USDT, we don't have RV. So uh, this money is going to be split by two. Now this is not you doing this. But the system, the board is going to split this money into it will purchase some set the amount of RV and then trade that two together and the profit is gonna come in USDT. So your capital just depends on the setup, how what you choose it to be here. So it's not number of trade that we decide to trade, right? Yes, it is not number of trade. It depends on what we have here as your setup. Hello, well done, Mr. John. Yes, sir. Yeah, my question is that can can we run it simultaneously with the our rear queue since we have already bounded there? Uh, app interface with uh, Binance and RealQ. Can we also have this one so that it should be working simultaneously with our RealQ? Yes, the, the answer to that is yes, sir. Uh, on Binance, you have option to uh, create multiple APIs. It means you can connect to as many external uh, platforms as you want. Again, uh, the, the reason why most of most people ask that question. I am trading on RareQ. Can I also uh, run a bot on another platform? Is that they try to think because RareQ is trading the same uh, currency, 
And what if another bond is traded back to same currency? Uh, the answer to that is Royal Q only deals with the amount we allocate to it. And uh, if you allocate 30 USDT, it only works with 30 USDT. So it's not going to interfere with the amount that you have remaining in your wallet because you have more money there. It's not going to interfere with that. So the answer to that is yes, you can. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay, I guess uh, it was good. Uh, like I said, let's do this time and again. Uh, we continue to learn, we continue to go back and view those materials. And I will be making a presentation on these. Video uh, probably, video on this. I think it's gonna be more simplified than what we had today, but this one today was just to give you a basic overview of what you expect to see on BitGap. And I appreciate you so much for your time. So like this setup, which I have here, if I wanna run it, I will just click on view right here. And then I will have to confirm it. And what will happen is because I have chosen my base currency to be USDT, which I am going in for a thousand dollars total for this trade. And because I don't currently have RV, again, remember I have USDT, which is my currency. I want to grow my my USDT. So I will have to the both have to buy some quantity of Avi. So these two now can work together. So I'm just mm -hmm. gonna confirm that. Again, remember this is just a demo account. So with the demo account, you can see what happened. So starting up, so it starts immediately and we can have these uh, recommendations here. We can have those notifications so you can see success. And then you just click on done and now we have our plot right here it is working and it is running so i encourage everyone back home please run some tests run some back tests and then uh, see what it gives you again if you are growing if your focus is to grow your uh usdt to grow your bnb to grow your ethereum uh, we do not focus on these change of the market right here, whether my RV goes down in value or my BTC, I do not focus on that because my focus is on my uh, crypto. So there we go, we have three tests. Again, you can click on these things to see uh, their returns and how they're performing. It is just mind blowing. Uh, that is it. And I appreciate you so much all for coming. And uh, we're going to be seeing each other again sometime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. John. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you don't want that really well, sir. Thank you very much for the insights. All right. Thank you, Mr. John. <laughs>